All right, on the docket for the day, we've been trying to save one of the best things for last, Austin Barbecue. We were gonna go to Franklin's, because of course that's number one on everybody's list. However, the operating hours are 11 to two, so they're open for like three hours a day. Only the first 200 people tend to get barbecue, then they'll cut it off. And it's $30 a pound. And, and a minimum three pound of three minimum. pounds. So I was like, you want me to spend $90 on barbecue that I haven't even tasted? How do I even know it's good? I'm not saying I wouldn't necessarily pay that, but I don't know where we would put three pounds of brisket. That's In the situation. On to, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> On to Terry Black's we go, uh, which is another really popular barbecue place on all the lists. Then Penny Packer Bridge, the 360 bridge. Then out to Jester King Brewing, which is a really cool property about like 30 minutes away from us. Mm -hmm. And that should pretty much- Just trying to fit everything in. Do it for the day. We're down to a couple of days left in Austin and you know, just trying to see some more stuff. Okay, real quick, let's have a talk about parking and not the RV, parking the F-250 with an extended bed. RV newbie mistake, in my opinion, is leaving the tow hitch on because it's already so long and parking in certain parts of the popular areas of Austin are basically impossible. On our way to Terry Black's right now, Victoria's already there ordering food and I had to park about a mile away which, you know, no biggie, probably need the exercise. You can't get these trucks into like a regular parking spot, especially with the tow hitch on. So don't do that. Be better than me. The murals around here are endless. All right, well, walking up right now and the line is super long and Victoria's in it somewhere where I'm not exactly sure. RV food critic. Mm. How did that satisfy you? Let me say this. I used to think there was only one kind of barbecue, three different sauces, vinegar and mustard, tomato mace. And Terry Fox might have me reconsidering brisket in the family of barbecue. It's pretty good. Wait, you wanted a number? 8.5. Oh, wow. It's pretty good. <laughs> 
pretty high score there. Yeah. Just giving them away. And their cornbread was on point. Folks right here living that class A life. Walking by what uh, could have been Pecan Grove RV Park. Right in the middle of everything on Barton Springs Road. Oh well. Stay lovey. That's pretty cool, right? I didn't even know that those people were over there on the other side. Here we are, Pennybacker Bridge. Thank you to Cindy for the suggestion. One of our uh, subscribers lives here in Austin. There's a ton of people here. It's a thing. Uh, there's a bunch of people climbing up the side of the cliffs. There's little trails to look down upon Pennybacker Bridge. AKA the 360 Bridge. And it's got a beautiful view once you're out there, but it's pretty cool that you can look at it from like a bunch of different angles. So yeah. it's kind of a little bit of a steep, rocky climb on both sides it looks like. Pretty sheer on the edge right there in terms of a straight fall off. So don't do that. No. Don't fall off. Okay, let's go. Let's go uh, let's go hike a little bit. I wonder if this one down there like goes across like that one does. Cause that'd be kind of, that'd be pretty cool. Maybe we'll check out this top one first. We go. We're kind of afraid of heights. <laughs> yes, I know I'm 15 feet away. What do you think? It's pretty high up there, right? Mm -hmm. Are you a little sketched out by that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course. Victoria's getting uh, adventurous here. Don't get too adventurous. Okay. Yeah, why don't you slow your roll there? This adventure. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Tell me to hold this. Doing it for the cram. <laughs> Right, but this is like, it's pretty straight down, right? It made me dizzy. And it's windy. Oh. <laughs> Which yeah. is probably not great for the audience. No, probably, but like when it feels like it's pushing me, it like makes me dizzy. Not that we're not adventurous, but like, I don't want to sit on the edge of the straight drop off. On the edge of the cliff? Yeah. We've been doing a lot of climbing mountains to get the shot today, and Victoria's like, all right, we got the shot, let's bounce. <laughs> I do love that they decorated the So was it worth it to climb those steep cliffs there? Yeah. It was a little bit less of a drop off from way up there. Yeah. It's a little bit better it's of a calorie hard. burn too whenever your heart's racing the entire time. So that's good. Exercise. For cardio. Yeah, absolutely. That's what we're here for. <laughs> Thank you, Cindy, for the suggestion. It's so pretty. You make me nervous over there, <laughs> hanging over the edge. <laughs> You ready? Yeah, we got a Panthers game to go watch. Let's go. Last one of the year. Go Panthers. Go Panthers. 
that little corner is a little bit close to the edge, so. <laughs> We're good friends now. Taking the inside lane. the most graceful mountain climber. I'm like a mountain goat. You're just <laughs> like a mountain goat. <laughs> Pennybacker Bridge. Pretty steep. And we're about to make a trip up into the Colorado Rockies here in just a couple of weeks. And Victoria goes, are you worried about driving in the Rockies with the RV the way that she drives? Yes. I'm gonna be driving though. The whole way in Colorado? I don't if know, that, that's gonna be negotiated. If it's on mountains? I'm driving. Okay. I don't trust you. <laughs> or anybody. I don't, I don't trust anybody yeah, and I would me. probably be sick if I didn't drive. Okay, well, just be safe. Good sightseeing for the day. Short, is, short hike. This is literally our last day to do anything here because we'll be leaving the day after I'm done with work. Yep, on to the next one. reservation that is due to the fact that it's a Saturday and everyone made a reservation when the Sun was still up yeah so we got stuck right after the Sun we need down. to get better at reservations <laughs> like not try to do them the day of you're right about that. but it was kind of a last-minute thing this property is broken out into a bunch of different areas that you would normally make a reservation for we asked for one in the beer garden and when we got here dude was like Hey, y'all want to go inside? Yeah, because it's, it's about to be cold outside. But this is a really cool spot, and they've got it all divided up for Rona. Divided. <laughs> Contactless service. You make your text, place your order, go pick it up at the table. Boom, bing, bang, done. But cool spot so far, right? And there it Stop is. talking. I gotta go get over here. Okay. <laughs> Let me hold the dog. Yeah. Where'd your mommy go? Oh, here comes the beer. I told you she'd be back. Don't make her spill the beer. I'm ready. So you got dry hopped oat saison, and I got the thin towel. I don't know what's what. That's a dry hot saison. Mm. Are you sure? Because I would have you taste that and tell me that's not a saison. Is this a beer challenge? I know what a saison is. I don't know what a fen pal is. She doesn't know how to behave. So act like a baby, get treated like a baby. <laughs> look at that face though. Just look at that face. Waking up super early to get 
this shot of the Austin skyline tomorrow, right? And I asked Victoria, I go, hey, do you want to wake up early and go see the sunrise? And she goes, you can tell the people that I said. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, not a huge morning person, unless I have to be for work. I enjoy my sleeping in. I promise to deliver on the really cool shot. I promise, I got you. to wake me up. She said, you can nudge me. We know what that means. I'll be climbing back to Mount Pinnell all by myself, but apparently you're supposed to have a really cool view of the sun hitting the skyline uh, as it's coming up, so <laughs> maybe she'll get up. She'll get up. Hey, you want to tell them about that fuzzy jacket you got there? This one? Yeah. It looks comfy. It is. It's very comfy. What I really wanted to put on my Christmas list was Thomas's mom's jacket that I borrowed when we went camping in Burl's Ford. I literally almost put it on my Amazon wish list. Terry B's jacket. <laughs> but I didn't. But instead I got this one. Yeah. And she was my secret Santa too, which is perfect. Good old Mama Bosch. I haven't seen the mutations are really spicy. It doesn't hurt. <laughs> oh, hey. Oh, hey. You about ready? Ready to leave Austin. Yep. It's that time. Just about. I always like to have your second eye to make sure that I'm on the hitch correctly. There you go. Cool. That's a wrap, Austin. We are on our way out. 13 week contract is officially up for Victoria. She had her last day yesterday. Now we've got about 18 days between contracts. Super excited for yeah. some time off. We're gonna kick this off the right way. It's the beginning of the year. Uh, we're gonna do a bit of exploring between Texas, Colorado, New Mexico, and Arizona. We're gonna take the real long way around. Yeah, an extended trip. We're gonna call this thing Project Good Start. 2021. Might as well get the year kicked off the right way. It'll be our first chance to really like get out and actually like explore and stay on the move instead of, you know, being posted up in a city. While we loved Austin, we're looking forward to new adventures. Yeah, for sure. The problem is, is that Austin set that bar pretty high, right? Yeah. <laughs> Austin's pretty great. So it's going to be tough to beat that, but uh, looking forward to uh, the next couple of weeks right now. Where are we headed, babe? Big Bend National Park. Big Bend National Park. The least visited national park in the United States simply due to its location, yes. 
because it's so isolated. Really? Yes, so it's about an eight hour drive, so we've got a full drive day ahead of us. We got all of our essentials. But we got all of our snacks and whatnot. Jeez. <laughs> So uh, gonna try and get some work done for Sunday's video while we're in the car and uh, hopefully you have a smooth ride.